Welcome back, everyone. We are pleased to present Patriot Battery Metals, Inc., a mineral exploration company focused on the acquisition and development of mineral projects containing battery, base, and precious metals. The company is focused on its Corvette lithium property in Quebec. And here to tell you all about this project and the company is President Blair Way. Blair? I know, but we've got a, we've got a big virtual crowd. How are you doing? Thank you. Good morning. It's great to be here. I'm Blair Way, President and CEO of Patriot Battery Metals. What I've got is a pretty exciting story. I'm going to spend the next sort of 10 to 15 minutes just telling you a bit about our, uh, our Corvette property in uh, northern Quebec. Obviously, the normal disclaimers are I'll allow people to peruse that at their own leisure, but the uh, disclaimers are fairly standard for forward-looking statements and the like. So the key here is just talking about the, about the company and what we have here. So we have a property called the Corvette property. It's a 214-square-kilometer tenement package, 50-kilometer um, strike length, and we've only put 25 holes in, but we're already seeing a triple-digit potential for tonnage. So. We've got over 12 pegmatite outcrops, which are ranging in scale from 100 to 250 meters in length and 40 to 50 meters wide. We've only really concentrated on three of those outcrops, which I'll show later in some of the presentation. But essentially, we've identified now it's looking like closer to, even though it says 1.4 kilometers here, it's actually looking closer to two kilometers of strike. So we still, within our overall property, we have of the 50 kilometers, we have more than 30 kilometers yet to even really do any sort of field work to identify further uh, pegmatite outcrops. We're fully funded for a 20,000 meter drill program that we commenced this winter. We've done just over uh, 6,000 meters to date. We commenced our winter program late February and completed it in mid-April. The final assay results of the, of, uh, of the last, hole, last couple of holes of that program are due uh, in the next few days. So give you a bit of a lay of the land, James Bay region, again, I assume given the venue that most people are familiar with the location, we're up near the trans Tiaga Highway. Oh, shit. I knew that was going to happen. Near the trans Tiaga Highway, <coughs> which is uh, an all-weather road maintained by the Quebec Hydro. And then the actual uh, LG4 <coughs> power station from Quebec Hydro is also within 15 kilometers, so we have some great infrastructure nearby. Some of our, uh, our peers that people may be familiar with within the James Bay region, again, assuming people's familiarity with the lithium space, James Bay, Rose, Wabuchi, which is uh, Namaska people have heard of, and Moblin. So we're in pretty good company, but we believe we have something pretty spectacular where we are. This shows the, sorry, shows the general lay of the ground and why we uh, acquired the ground that we have. And again, it's 100% owned by Patriot Battery Metals, and we've got a 50-kilometer strike following this greenstone belt. Again, we're seeing some amazing oat crops. Uh, that picture there just shows you the scale of the oat crops that we have um, on our site. So this is CV5, which is the area where we started drilling. That's 220 meters by 40 meters at, at the surface. We've now drilled adjacent to and around this property, and I'll tell you a bit more about it. This is showing, again, the bigger picture. The company has spent probably up until this summer only uh, about four or five days on the ground actually prospecting and looking around for oat crops, primarily by air photo or satellite imagery, and also by helicopter. So this summer, we've actually got a ground crew mapping out these pegmatite oat crops. But we do know the CV5 area, which is this, this area here, is CV5 and CV1. I'll be talking more about this area, but this is where we focused our drilling. But there is still a great deal of prospectivity all over, all over the property yet to be explored. This is now zeroing in on the area that we're drilling. This is a two kilometer corridor. We've uh, commenced the winter drill program and put in these holes here. The green holes are the last four holes that are remaining for assays. Those, as I said, will be out in the next week or so. Um, what this has demonstrated to us is, a, is quite a massive corridor here that is showing a, a one deposit in a greater district that we've been able to identify. These are some pictures of the core 
and also just the, the pegmatite intercepts. So we've had 100 plus meter pegmatite intercepts, things that people have not really seen before in this sort of region. And we're seeing upwards of 150 meter intercepts. Our first hole that we drilled at CV5 was 146 meters at 0.93%. Second hole, 155 meters at 0.94%. So these are massive intercepts, which has garnered a lot of attention to the company in a very short period of time. So our most recent, uh, or our best hole to date in our winter drill program has garnered quite a bit of attention. It's 70.1 meters at 2.2%, and within that, 40.7 meters at 3.01%. So we're not only seeing the scale, as in in excess of triple digit tonnage, but we're also seeing pretty impressive grades. And we, we believe we're gonna see an average grade over 1% on this uh, two kilometer corridor as we drill it out. Again, these are some of the assay results as they've come in. The most recent ones that we press released last week, last week during PDAC, we had 61.3 uh, meters at 1.17, 65.7 meters at 0.95. These are amazing intercepts for such an early stage project. And as we continue to drill, uh, these just show some of the details of the holes that we've recently released. As we continue to drill, we're seeing more more intercepts as we drill to depth, we're seeing a, an actual thickening of the ore body or deposit to depth. So we're very, uh, very optimistic. This, this slide here actually shows you a little bit about the lay of the land. So what we have here is the sort of the first holes that we drilled, hole number one, that was 146 meters. This is 155 meters. We flipped over to the other side of the uh, outcrop and we intercepted the uh, 58 meters at 1.25%. We then moved down to another oak crop called CV6, and we uh, again had a, a great intercept there that was 63 meters at 0.64%. Uh, we have since, uh, over, the, over the summer program, since we've commenced, we've started infilling. This shows the, uh, in a visual way, this shows the 1.8 kilometers. Now we've extended it out beyond here as part of the summer program because we've been able to drill further further to the east, but east to west trend is two kilometers. This shows some of the intercepts. So what we have been seeing as we do our step out holes, we're seeing thickening to depth. So the original inferred thickness was somewhere around 60, 50 meters, but uh, as we're drilling deeper, we're seeing a trend. So the, the legend map here shows as we start moving across the deposit, we're still seeing this thickening trend all the way to the, all the, way to the east. So in summary, really what we have here is a very uh, a pretty impressive or spectacular deposit where we're, constant, we're, we're continuously being impressed by the scale of the deposit that we're defining here. We're seeing increasingly larger intercepts of, of pegmatite with spodumene bearing, uh, you know, spodumene bearing crystals, which is certainly demonstrating to us the scale that we think is necessary for the industry in the future. Um, as I've mentioned before, the winter program, we finished the 20 holes, did uh, 4,300 meters over the, 20, over the winter program. We now have another 15,000 meters to drill. Um, these, these intercepts that we're seeing upwards to 155 meters in thickness, we're seeing vertical depth you know, approaching 265. This summer program, we intend to drill deeper to find out just what sort of depth limitations we may find. But this two kilometer corridor right now is, remains open to the east, to the west, and to depth. And again, this is just the one corridor on a number of, of uh, satellite outcrops that we have on our property. We've done preliminary mineralogy, and it's certainly great to be able to report that spodumene is the dominant lithium-bearing uh, mineral present, and we're seeing that it's, it's accounting for between 86 and 99% of the lithium that we're seeing in our, in our, uh, in our, in our assays. There's no uh, petalite or other lithium phosphate minerals. Um, certainly, this preliminary mineralogy is looking good. We're also undertaking metallurgi metallurgical work, which we expect probably in a month's time we'll have more to report on that. But certainly all indicators, low iron content, content in the assays, all things that are le leaning towards a, a decent deposit. This is something that uh, I've, I've mentioned earlier, but it's worth talking about is even though the, the two kilometer corridor that we're working on, we actually have a number of other deposit, uh, uh, pegmatite outcrops that are quite massive. You can see the scale of these things that are yet to be explored. We haven't put any drill holes 
under, under them yet. So this summer we're doing detailed mapping to then define where maybe some drill holes could be put in either later this summer or in the winter time, depending on how the summer goes. We have an exceptionally busy summer drilling out this two kilometer corridor, but equally so our field crews are very busy working these other outcrops to find out whether we may indeed have multiple corridors. So this starts to sum up where we are, but essentially we are a, are a, a, a massive or appearing to be a large scale lithium deposit, pegmatite lithium deposit located in northern Quebec, close to good infrastructure, power, roads, um, access to ports through, through the roads and then picking up the railheads uh, further south in Quebec. Um, certainly uh, permitting wise, there's been some questions in respect to being adjacent to lakes, but again, in this, in this venue, people are familiar with mines that are built in northern Quebec where lakes have to be uh, drained in order to access the mineral deposit. So we don't foresee any challenges with this. There's a, there's a well-defined permitting process that we can go through in order to achieve the outcomes that we need. Continue to click. So we're actually, uh, sh the capitalization of the company, we're actually about 86 million shares outstanding now. We've had a number of warrants come in as our share price has, uh, has performed quite well over the past 12 months. Um, so we're sitting between two and 300 million market cap. Our share price is floating between two and four dollars these days. Fully diluted, we're 100 and, uh, 122 million shares. We have uh, continued to have between 10 and 12 million dollars in treasury as our warrants come in are almost matching to some degree our uh, spend to flow through dollars that we have for our drill program. I'll flip through, so management, my background, I come from a project project management, project development background. I'm an exploration geologist, but I spent a great deal of my career working for majors, building projects, working in the nickel sector, magnesium, zinc, copper, gold, and lithium and uh, graphite. So I've spent the last 10 years in the battery space, so have a, have a wide network of uh, capabilities within the space, as well as understanding the whole life cycle of a project from exploration all the way to uh, commissioning. Uh, Darren Smith, our VP Exploration, has extensive experience in, in Quebec and especially so with lithium deposits and he's an a important member to the team. We have a strong board and uh, management team working with us as well. <clears throat> so yeah, in summary, Patriot Battery Metals with its Corvette project, we believe we've come on, uh, discovered something very spectacular with our 50 kilometers of strike, 214 square kilometers of, of ground yet to be fully, fully explored. And uh, yeah, the company is very excited for the future. We are going through a process right now where we're, we're going to co-list or dual list on the ASX given the uh, appetite for the Australians for uh, hard rock lithium projects. And uh, probably about 50% 50, 50 of our shareholdings is, is Australian at present. So we see an opportunity there to gain a higher awareness of the, of the significance of the project that we have. But in summary, Patriot Battery Metals, Corvette project, scale greater than uh, a, a, a triple digit tonnage with a grade and uh, we have tantalum offsets just to sweeten the pot. So happy to have, so I think that's pretty much sums us up. Yeah, thanks very much. Any questions? Happy to take questions. It really is. It's one of those things we sort of came out of nowhere it was a, uh, a project that people had never heard of. Our geologists were very bullish on it. Uh, we were able to secure it 100%, raise the funds to do the drilling, and it really is exactly what you want to happen, is that the ground has delivered, and we've been in a position in order to continue to drill and demonstrate the scale of what we have. But we think this is something pretty spectacular. Thanks very much. Thank you.